Oh, uh, life has been a day and a half, huh? Which, it's been two days since I last streamed. So I haven't had a lot of time to play. Well, I've had time and I haven't had time. I've kind of done all the daily st stuff and kind of cut out the grind. Cut the material grind. So I haven't done a whole lot of that. Also, I've been wearing uh, skirts and dresses. Because, look, that's how I roll, alright? Uh... I got some stuff that I took from my girlfriend's town. I plucked a flower. Uh, I have a house that's in the second phase now, and I'm gonna have the third phase tomorrow. I have an inflatable couch bed. So you said inflatable couch, so I thought you sat on it, but then you lay on it instead. This, however, this baby chair is incredible. Listen. More chairs that do funny noises like that. It's it's like the pseudo-successor to the froggy chair. Got an hourglass. Ignore the tissues next to my bed. That's unnecessary. Uh, oh yeah, I found out you could like... Oh, okay, so if there's like half a space, you could kind of just skip over it. Uh, I scanned in my Termina clock pattern from New Leaf, which looks pretty good with the smoothing on. It's not terrible. I need some like actual clothes though. Uh, a little toolbox over here that does nothing. I haven't even bothered trying to decorate yet. I'm just throwing whatever random furniture I get in my house right now. I'm gonna have a second room tomorrow, so... Here's a book stand. A little pile of books. Bottled ship. Turns out when you buy stuff from the shop in this game, it doesn't always, like, sell out immediately. You could buy another one. Uh, a heart door plate, which I think we have to put on a wall. That's You can actually put it on your door, but I don't want to put it on my door. It's just a heart that says welcome. Stone stool. I bought this, uh, I made that when I was over in my girlfriend's town. I'll put that outside. I also caught a dab while I was over there. Uh, ignore that. Don't worry about all that. I got all the tools I'm gonna need right now. Maybe I'll take the uh, watering can with me. I need to take these to them. I don't think I need to plant the pears, but I will anyway. I'm gonna move all this to my uh, pockets. So there's like a meteor shower some nights, and if you uh, like stand still and wish on them, you get these fragments the next day. Interesting. Interesting stuff. You apparently can get something uh, pretty nice with that. Oh yeah, and you can drag stuff if you hold down the A button, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they wouldn't mention that. Let's get this over here. I have to plant the apples. Hey, Capit. How you doing? Okay. All organized. Uh, probably gonna sell the dad. Oh, yeah, my museum opened. I haven't gotten in it yet, so I'm gonna have to donate an assload of stuff to it. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. I put the permanent items at the front. about right. Waiting for your other art friends to get back to me for potential art trades. Ooh, that sounds nice. I've been kind of getting nostalgic for my pixel art this past weekend, because people have been posting some really good ones. So I have a skull radio that with glue, blue glowy eyes, and unfortunately, we all know what that means. Um, I've got two songs. I've got another one coming tomorrow. I still have the radio over here working, too. 
Because it turns out that, that those radios don't cover the entire radius of the room. Like, if I put it here, it might, but... Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll put this in the other room tomorrow. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, I have a lot of empty space right now. <laughs> I'm actually not focusing on decorating my house at all until I, uh, I have an exit sign as well. Hello, Satine. Yes, I have a house and it's at level 2 already. <laughs> uh, I think I put these down when I was here the other day. I have a smoker for smoking my meats. Campfire. Uh, put down my stone stool. Where is it? Now, can I sit on this and still work? No, I can't. You want some more friends for this thing? Um... After I do my dailies, I'm going to try to see if I can maybe uh, visit other people's towns. How long does it take to get a house? Uh, once you work off your initial debt, which is done entirely through Nook Miles, and that's really quick. Oh, there's Wisp. there. No, I'm not going for any particular look right now. It's just what I have in my inventory. Uh, let's go for this. I was wearing this. This is actually pre-made. You start with this design. I think it looks very nice. So essentially, Wisp and Gulliver boil down to fetch quests. Uh, Gulliver, it's dig up squirty spots in the stand with the shovel until you get five parts. And for Wisp, it's capture five parts with a net. YM Ghost. Yeah, they're like repurposing a lot of characters. It's a big fish over there. Probably bullshit. Whoa. It was way off. I got some notification. Yeah, it's probably, um, best friends list. It just means someone's online. Derg. Olive flounder? Uh, too many flat fish. Oh, there goes my fishing rod. Seashell by my fleet. I don't really need the seashells at this point. Well, I mean, I guess I do for the things. Hey, V4. How you doing? spot. Yeah, so it's going to be a little chill the first half. Also, I'm not going to be streaming this intensively. No, why not? Let's bury our... Let's plant our apple here. You hungry? Have some hot dog. <laughs> Shh. 
stream it all? Nah, I've already missed- you've already missed parts. Crisp, Mr. and Mrs. Popular. That's me, I'm crisp. Uh, I am just missing peaches, and I'll have all the fruit. There's no bananas in this game, which New Leaf had. Interesting. The girl you like got this game. Oh, that's nice. You two should play together when you get it. It's absolutely bananas that there's no bananas. I was hoping this would be a mineral rock. Yeah, it's the money rock. Unfortunately, money's like the one resource I'm actually pretty good on right now. For reasons I won't disclose. Misfired. I do plan on growing like a huge orchard somewhere in the town. I always do that, just so I have all the fruits available. I feel like these always end up in the same spots. Yeah, I got an inheritance. I sold my New Leaf Town and got a portion of what they were offering me for it. Maybe I'll get the rest uh, when I'm not busy. Ooh, it's cloudy tonight. Oh, that's a plus, uh, a plus objective. Doing pretty good on Nook Miles, too. I could probably get a ticket and get some materials if I need it. Thing is, I, the tickets are expensive. 2000 is quite a bit, at least at this point of the game. What other news do you got? Hey, tell me whatever you want. I will read it on stream. Like an asshole. Have you unlocked the museum? Yes, I have. I will be heading to that for the first time in my town. I went to my girlfriend's uh, museum, but I'm going to be going to mine uh, as soon as I finish this. Would you believe if I told you the creator of Crash Bandicoot wants to be on the podcast I run? Yes, I would, honestly. You've gotten some pretty nice people on there before. Some pretty accomplished people. What's in this? Toilet cleaning set. Oh, man. A plunger, a scrubby, and two rolls of toilet paper. Oh, my God. This is the most valuable item ever. I better hold on to that. Fossil, fossil. I found out you can plant coconuts on grass in this game, which you couldn't do in the others, I think. What are these pants? Pleather pants. Oh, it's the skirt I had on before. Let's free up my inventory. No, not DIY recipes. I swear this is a pre-made pattern. So these two I brought over from uh, New Leaf. Uh, it's the Termina Clock from Majora's Mask and the and like a Puzzle League uh, pattern that I used on my 3DS. Nessie's really excited for that. Yeah, she loves Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, COVID mod items. You found it! You found it! I did a DIY and got all the stuff wrong, so I made this on accident. Man, I tell you, I'm all accidents today. I thought it smelled good, so I wanted to share the smell with you. If you make it, scream, I made it. By Al. Al, excuse me. Master. I almost said that as AI. Just because of 
friggin' Somnium Files. Which, by the way, I found out there was a whole, like, ARG YouTube channel for Iris that takes place before the game starts. And it was, um, Cardboard Bed. Really? Okay. Um, and it's very interesting. Like, if I hadn't played the game, there would have been a lot going on there I wouldn't have known about. So it was a lot of interesting foreshadowing going on. The only crash you've played was a demo of the first game. I've played Twin Sanity, which is arguably the most broken crash game because it wasn't completely finished, but it was still uh, an interesting time. I really want to get the Spyro collection at some point. Maybe I'll stream that if I get it on Switch. Uh, I will definitely check out the podcast later. I'm not a huge crash fan, but... Uh, this is another house. Just ignore that. There's nothing going on in there. The version you play on the PS4 is buggy beyond belief. Really? I honestly haven't heard anything about it since it came out. Oh yeah, my other villagers all have houses now too, so there's that going on. You have to bug out the third game just to finish it 100%. Oof. Oh, yeah, I have to bring all of these in there. Hazel. Yeah, she's nice. I think I already bashed that rock, yeah. I already have a pill bug as well. Here's a cardboard box with a switch on it. Nothing conspicuous there. Don't worry about it. Where's that last spirit piece? What's with the spirits? Uh, I talked to a ghost earlier and its spirit exploded into five pieces. Because he's a scaredy cat. There it is. So this is the second time he's shown up since I started playing, so they sh he and Gulliver show up pretty often. Something you don't have yet, or something expensive? Last time I said something expensive, he gave me something pretty crappy. Something new would be nice. I'm gonna say something expensive, though. Just because I don't have many... things. Diner counter table. Okay, at least that's new. You had no clues booze exist in this franchise. That he's actually existed since the first game. He would only show up like really late at night in the first game. I'm not going to sell that tarantula. I'm just going to plop him right here for reasons that I will not explain. Hmm. 
Let's see what Igly's up to. What game? Animal Forest? Yeah, the original. I'm only now getting into the Nintendo franchise other than Mario. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. It's, just, it's always a good time to start. A lot of good games there. If you want my suggestion of a really obscure... Well, not obscure, but... A Nintendo series that hasn't gotten any love that is really good. Uh, Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance. Really great. Breath of the Wild was pretty fun. Yes, it was. So they all have do-it-yourself workbenches in there. I want one for my house, too. I've also realized it's probably best... Well, actually, no. You don't need to bring one on the island tour. There's always a bench ready. Mischief Makers on the N64 is a really good game. That's not Nintendo, though. That's Treasure, isn't it? Uh, oh, Gulliver. Here's a little gift to thank you for all your help. I'm supposed to be steering the ship right now, but I had to write this before I forgot. Anyway, I see a big rock up ahead, so I better wrap this up. Goodbye. I favor that. Shit. Congratulations. To celebrate the new addition to your home, please accept a small gift. You'll need convenient electronic appliances for your upgraded home. 11,832 points. Rank B. Congratulations. This time your home scored 10,000 points or more, so we've sent along a commemorative gift. How? I've literally not done anything to deserve that. You can send messages to other people, too, which is really nice. I would say it counts because it was an N64 exclusive, but it is still very much a treasure game. So Gulliver sent me a coin headpiece? Whoa. Changed my hairstyle. Uh, I look like, um... I look like that character from... Oh, God, who is it? I look like Armin from Attack on Titan. I've got the Armin hairstyle. Oh, that's weird. It, it makes like a little stand for it. What else? Oh, the creator Sonic loved the piece you made him last week. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I probably did see it. Toilet cleaning set. Uh, let's put that right here. I'll save it for when I have a toilet. Diner counter table. Okay, what is this? Wow, that's bright. You have to see Knights potential and potentially Blinks get ported to the Switch. Isn't Blinks like a like an Xbox exclusive? Well, I guess that it's kind of off the table. Not off the table at this point. I feel bad for Blinks. It wasn't a bad game, apparently, but the mascot is, like, constantly memed for being, like, a failed, uh... That looks ugly as fuck, but whatever. It's a little better sticking out of the wall. Still can't, still going by those conventions, huh? <coughs> I need soft wood to make a ladder. Go as far as allow Halo 2 to cannibalize the sales of the sequel. Are you ready to have a bad time?
Okay. Happy Home Academy. What do you guys got for me? I'm not going to save everything. I usually just save, like, big stuff from the beginning of the game, and then any important letters I get later. Alright, so that is my garbage can. That's my vest with binox, which I'll wear right now. There we go. Now I actually have clothes. Clothes and a skirt. Happy Home Academy pendant. Automatic washer. Ooh, perfect. Didn't mean to do that. Also, yes, did you enjoy my hair? My spiky yellow hair? You've been negative towards Halo since the time I learned of its existence. It's, um, a terrible series. It's def it was definitely overhyped. But some of the games are good. I remember loving Halo 2 uh, multiplayer. Ooh, that pendant is way better than uh, New Leafs. I mean, the thing is, Halo is kind of Microsoft's OG franchise in terms of games, aside from, you know, Flight Simulator. Yeah, them fucking up Rare was kind of a, a misstep on their part, but... The Islanders need a place to throw out their trash, so we're gonna put a garbage can right here. I think you could throw stuff in it. Should I toss something? Yeah, there you go. Halo was supposed to be multi-platform. Oh, really? Yeah, someone drew a skunk on my, uh, message board. Let's uh, lighten my load a little bit here. So here's the thing. I'm in the process of getting the shop built. But once the shop is built, it's not going to be open at this time. So I'm not going to be able to sell stuff at night anymore, or buy stuff at night. That's very frustrating. Sterno, uh, the tissue box I already bought. Uh, what do I need? A fishing rod? I'm gonna buy that. Uh, Zai, what is this? Uh, that's me getting- that'll make me- if you redeem that and then ask me to voice act something, I will do that. Four cardboard boxes to make a cardboard bed. Oh yeah, I got the ladder recipe, which I'm sure I would have gotten from Blathers today, but I, I bought it ahead of time. Uh, let me just put this 10, 11, uh, 100,000 bells in there. Uh, don't, don't worry about the 9 million that's in there right now. Uh, that's totally legit, and I got it from totally legit means, so we'll just leave it at that. Let's, um, grab these fossils. It's, it's time to... Okay, they're all grabbed. Good.
Oh, if it isn't I! At long last, the no-burdensome museum has opened. This very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old ing island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible. So I say to you, thank you. Now allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basement. Each one leads to exhibit rooms wherein the donations collected thus far have been put on display. Ah, that's right. I have more good news to report. That is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we will accept multiple donations at once. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or fish or bug, I suppose, simply say, tell me about this. Hoot! Hesitate not, I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do please take a gander at our magnificent collection. It surely is a thing of wonder. There's just a blank spot up here. There's no paintings either. What the hell? Might there be something with which I can assist you? Assess these fossils. Who oh, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Hooray! I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest of fossils. Now I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Nobertizen is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think on what I've said. The museum awaits. I mean, here's the thing. You're not going to tell me which ones I'm not missing. Oh, okay. It just doesn't let me submit it if that's the case. Wait, do I have two ambers? I have an ammonite. Woohoo, several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, I see. You can ask them to, uh... You can ask them to just describe it from the menu. So I already saw this earlier today, but this museum is really cool. It's like an actual, like, real museum. We humbly ask for your donations for our displays. Ammonite, March 23rd. Amber. See, they link, like, there's like a tree of life here, and it kind of goes around. I don't know where those animals came from in there, though. I think they just put them there as display pieces. Oh, I finished this one. Stegosaurus, please donate any missing parts you have to exav excavate. Thank you for helping our museum grow. Ankylosaurus. Oh, I don't have the tail for that. So close. Coprolite. Oh, that's fossilized poop. Looks like a roll. Dinosaur track. T-Rex. So you kind of have to... Oh yeah, and here's the Final Fantasy VII logo. Very glowy. It's a very lovely museum. Plenty more parts to uncover. This would be a considerable incentive for you. It's just limited because you can only get like four fossils a day. This room is really neat. Megalosaurus. Seros. So this room not only has the end point of all the dinosaurs, but you also have... You also have all the animal types listed up here. The implication of them all being evolved from uh, different animals. Which is weird because there are real animals in this game too. Like there's birds in the sky, so it, it's kind of weird how it works. They don't question it. I, I really like the fact that the bird is the only one that goes directly into the other room since it's 
the birds are the only direct descendants of dinosaurs. The bird branches off here. And is, and is the only one in that room to do so. Alright, let me grab the uh, fish and uh, bugs from the outside. Oh, wait, no. All right, so there's no other options. What about your first disco five discoveries? Oh, they're in here. They've been they've been auto donated once the museum's set up. Same with the because uh, I also needed another fifteen after that to set up the museum beforehand. That's why there were so many fossils already in there because there was more than this the seven I put in there. More? Did I forget anything? Nope. I'm not gonna bother like searching out every fossil I donate, because the thing is, if I only donate a piece, it's gonna just be gone, like, be a piece. Fossil assessment. Anonymous something or other. Bell ringer. Spending your bells on the island helps revitalize the local economy. 500,000. I'm guessing it's a mil 5 million after that. Don't tell me there's like 50 million. That's more than I have saved up. Chat log. I'm online. So we'll just take a quick look at the other stuff too. So this is the uh, aquarium. You got some fishes here. I think these are all fresh water. Yeah. My girlfriend was like gushing over this because she's very much into the ocean. There's a big display case here, which I don't have anything in. Lowered uh, water area right there with some reeds. A tank. Have you seen the videos of the penguins wandering about the aquariums? Yes, I've seen some of them. Uh, I don't have anything in here yet. It's a rather large tank. Don't have anything in here. I'm not liking it. You can't change the camera angle in here, which you could do in uh, New Leaf. It makes no sense to me, too, because they've clearly modeled the full... all the walls and stuff. This one's neat. You get little viewing holes here, which... Again, pointless if there's nothing to see yet. I haven't seen all the videos. I've seen a few, though. Sorry, I'm just uh, checking something real quick. So here we have, uh, I don't know what those are. Sea butterflies. We got a large tank up here with nothing in it. You got a little aqua tunnel here. Really neat. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy how, how amazing this place looks. I don't know how Blathers afforded all this. <laughs> 
Then again, he's got several popular museums at this point. Even the Georgia Aquarium, it's about $35 per head. Oof, that's a little pricey. Uh, the Jenkinson's Aquarium is only about, I think, 12 or 15 Here's the bug terrarium place. Got the aquatic bugs over there. Some butterflies. Do a little places to sit down. It's really nice too because you could just like sit down and then take photos. So you could rotate the camera when you're doing that. That just leads back there. I don't think I've ever finished uh, a museum in an Animal Crossing game. Why are there fish in here? Interesting, they just put random fish in there. This is the room everyone gushed about during the uh, direct preview with the with the fountain. Oh, there's the tarantula. There's the mole cricket. The next direct, assuming it's going to happen, is this going to disappoint everyone? I feel that they... I feel that you're going to be correct, because... This was, like, the last game on everyone's radar for the time being. Aside from the Pokemon DLC, there is, like, nothing coming out from Nintendo this year. Which I think is fine, honestly. I think that right now we're in a position where... We can't really ask them for more. No one can uh, fault them for not working. Got like a little lab area over here with, ironically, a fly swatter in the corner. Just confirm Persona 5 Royal for Switch. Honestly, agreed. I would say if they can, if they just came out and said, look, Atlas is bringing Persona 5 to Switch, just wait for it and it'll come out. Everyone would be happy. Honestly, I would take a release date for Scramble just because. I'd rather play Scramble than replay Persona 5. Give us a release date for Scramble. An English release date for Scramble. Uh, I guess solidify the first Pokemon DLC. Here's the thing. It may disappoint people, but at this point... Whatever gets, whatever gets announced next is going to be a surprise. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it could be. Or we have ideas what it could be. It's either going to be a release date for something that's in been in production for a while, like Metroid or Bayonetta, or it's just going to be new stuff. Or both. Personally, since I have yet to play the Metroid Prime series and I'm a huge Metroid fan now, uh, you know, looking back on it, I would love to see them do Trilogy Collection on Switch just to hold us over until Metroid Prime 4. I would gladly play through all three games on the Switch. A new DKC was from Retro. That'd be cool. And Kilo Torso. Uh, I don't really need to keep this. Three thousand bells. Damn. Actually, wait a minute. Let me see what this looks like. You need to play Metroid only because I've been getting into Metroidvanias lately. Skip Metroid. If you're going to play the original Metroid, s instead play Zero Mission, which is like a much better version of it. That's neat. I don't know if I'll keep that. Actually, you know what? I'll put it in storage. There's no reason for me to sell it. Skip two echoes because of a traditional ammo system at 100% of prime. I'll speak prime three in the Wii. Hmm. 
Make the other noise. There you go. An hourglass here, which is more like a 10 second glass, I think. Oh yeah, I bought all the customization options too, so I could do, uh, if I have a mirror here, I could go back into this screen, change my skin tone. I've got a bunch of new hairstyles, which I've gone with the spiky hair, because bird. Uh, i got a bunch of wacky colors, which look pretty cool, but I'm going to stick with blonde yellow. need a desk for that mirror, and the switch too, I don't like having it on the floor. These are the eyes that my original Animal Crossing character used. Every other character since uh, has these eyes. I have the furry mouth. Some blush. You can do uh, face paint. It splits the main patterns into three distinct spots. Uh, bottom left, bottom right, and then the top is just one long line. Like, see, the painted music notes is designed to be uh, worn that way. Like I said, there's also smoothing effects on the uh, design, so it doesn't look pixely, which isn't always great. What am I having storage right now? Rusted part. I found this. I don't know what that does. Again, don't don't worry about don't worry about that. Don't look at those. It's not important. Uh, what now? Now, I rack my brain to think about what I still need. Uh, for island goals right now, I do want to plant the rest of my fruit. Um, I should probably focus on making some new uh, some new uh, recipes or not recipes uh, tools as well, like the better tools. That said, uh, I do need to build a ladder, and I do need iron nuggets, so I'm going to equip the flimsy axe. Oh yeah, I got the tool ring as well, which just auto lets you select stuff. Okay, there's soft wood. I need four of those. Should have brought the other one. I suppose the nice thing is that you don't need to make the flimsy tools, you could just buy them. Still that bait I made from the other day. I don't know if you were here for that. Uh, these are important for something. I don't know when now that'll become important, but I'm going to hold on to them for now. I think you could use them in crafting. I'm not sure. Let's put, uh, since I already have 30 of those, I'll put that in storage. I still need seven more iron nuggets. I hate how much you need... You need iron nuggets for everything. And they're so hard to come by. Yeah, don't don't worry about the switches, man. They're just doing their thing, okay? Oh, wait, I already watered these. They're already sparkling. Yeah, they all look like they're already sparkling.
With this, I could finally reach the rest of the island. Yep, there we go. What else can I make right now? Actually, I should have kept going. Uh, I can make a better watering can. Takes one iron nugget and a flimsy watering can. Ah, that's not worth it. Fishing rod. Another iron nugget, really? Oh my god, why, why does a net need an iron nugget? There's two types of axes as well. There's a stone axe, which I'm sure is for uh, getting resources, and then a regular axe, which I believe can cut down trees. And you can get uh, stumps with that. I think it might be time to retire the uh, ocarina. The problem, the problem isn't the axes, the, pr the problem isn't going after the iron, the problem is just that there's not enough places to farm the iron out. I kind of need to use a Nook, t a Nook Miles ticket for that. that already. Hopefully it'll work out. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at the, look at the map. Look how, look how, anything that's green, anything that's like the lighter two shades of green, I haven't reached yet. Like anything, anything up at the top, I haven't been to yet. Just because there's no way to get up there without a ladder. Conch. Yeah, these islands are randomly generated. Finally. Floors. Just start pilfering the wildlife. Stink bug. Already had that. There's like actual flowers up here too. Yeah, I knew it. Those are actual flowers. Serene beauty, untouched. And now I'm just plucking it all. Flowers go in the museum? Nope. Just bugs, fish, and fossils. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put the fish you find in the museum. Yes, any fish or bugs that I don't have in the museum will go in there. I have no need to keep them. So yeah, there's a little hidden beach on every island, if you look at the map. I don't know if anything happens here, but it is pretty cool to just have this little, like, secluded spot. Uh. May as well chip away at the weed. Miles, yeah. Man-faced stink bug. Reminds me of my uncle. Whoa, that's creepy looking, actually. Yeah, I'll definitely clear out the weeds. I don't want to do that on stream, though. If I'm... If I'm... If I have other stuff I could do.
Doesn't seem to be any weeds up here. Crisp. Serene. Unharmed by Nook's hands. Are you required to go back to this game constantly? No, but uh, it sure makes a good point to do so. Like, being here, playing it, does make me want to go back to it. I almost said there's a bird, too. No, the game doesn't guilt you for not going back. If you go back to it after a long period of time, they'll be like, hey, where were you? Feisty. Really? Common fish? Watch the flowers for bugs. I am, but I also don't think there's anything on them that I don't already have. At the moment, at least. Damn it. One more. No good. That was the only rock up here? Why'd you dig before striking the earth? Because I get knocked back if you, uh... If you try striking the earth while there's, um... While there's no hole behind you, you eventually get pushed too far back. And mining stuff from, uh, rocks is a timed-based mechanic. The longer you take, the less stuff you're gonna get out of it. Mole Cricket. Well, there's certainly a lot to do up here. A lot, a lot of room up here, but there's not much else. Still, I'm glad I came up here. Or I'm glad I, could, I can go up there. It's just free real estate more than anything else. It's not anything uh, ridiculous. Oh shit. I knew, I knew immediately that wasn't going to work. Also, I realized, because of the way I placed my house, I have like a little hidden alcove behind it. Where weeds can fester. I think I already struck that one today. I also broke a bunch because uh, when you eat fruit, you could break rocks or, or pull out trees. Reminds me, I should probably uh, get to plant in here. Oop, nope. 
There's already a tree there. Speaking of Nintendogs... What? Uh, that that game's gonna come to the Switch as well, you'd think so? I don't know. I wouldn't say it's impossible, I also feel like that's kind of a product of the portable dual screen era. And it's just not gonna be the same if they try doing it now. Probably gonna make an orchard later. It's been two hardware generations. No, it was on the 3DS. That was Nintendo Dogs plus Cats. I would say it's a portable, say, series. Assess my fossils. And then let me assess your ass. You need to get back to your farm in Stardew Valley at some point. I need to play Stardew Valley at some point. Why don't you tell me about the stink bug? Tell me about the smelly bugs. Oh, dare I say, ew! That is a stink bug! Do be careful, and do not release it from its cage! I shudder at the very thought. I dare say the name says it all. Stink bugs are known for their stench. <laughs> P.U. As it happens, these crop-eating pests use straw-like mouths to pierce plants and drink the juices. And when threatened, they use a smelly chemical in their belly to release an odious odor. Oh, how do they live with themselves? And that is all I have to say about that. Now, if you please, put away your stink bug. Oh, yeah, they are animated. Oh, dare I say, ooh, there's a man-faced stink bug. Do be careful and do not release it from its cage. Never mind this stink bug smell. What you have here is a bug with a face on its back. What? what? Simply put, the man face stink bug has markings on its shell that resemble a human face. Once you notice this face, you cannot unnotice it. Indeed, this face might haunt you forever. At least the face will distract you from the stink. By the by, ugh, I got a hair in my mouth. It would seem our collection is indeed lacking a man face stink bug. Personally, I do I do not mind it at all, but professionally, I admit a contribution of this kind would benefit this museum greatly. Would you perchance donate it? Yeah, take it. No, we're good. Okay, what next? What next in our little adventure here? Uh... You know, I could probably keep a bass in my house. I'm gonna need stuff to decorate with, so... It's actually really big. Oh, there's a little light on it, too. That's cute. Put that in storage. Put that in storage. Can you put the bass in storage? Yeah, you can. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, I don't really want it. Oh, the weeds. I actually need that for something. 
It's a good thing I remember that. I really need to get something to put those on, too. Got classes tomorrow online, so you have to take them. Sell the unwanted creatures. Yeah, but do I really need the money? No, no, you're right. I should sell them. That savings is for emergencies. Sell that. I don't even want to wipe my ass with that little amount of money. There's something I wanted to make. Grass skirt. Yeah, now I'm styling. Oh, look, an Ola tea. That doesn't really fit, though. Rain hat, oval glasses. I already bought that. Rubber toe sneakers. It's no utility kilt. My girlfriend has one of those. I might have to buy a Nook Miles ticket here. Can I buy more than one? Yeah, you can. Ooh, there's um, a low uh, there. There's an Aloha shirt. Nah, that doesn't really go with the grass skirt though. I do want one of these rugs, though. yawn at me. Spend miles to make miles. Oh, one more fish and I get another 300. It wouldn't surprise me if I said Alola instead of Aloha. <laughs> oh, you actually keep it in your uh, inventory now. Shit. I got KO'd. So which, in which insects KO you? As far as I could tell, only scorpions, tarantulas, and wasps. Uh, tarantulas and scorpions KO you immediately. Wasps will sting your face first, and then they'll KO you afterwards. Oh, look, another one. Bitch. Can't go anywhere on this island. I also want to craft a log uh, bench between these two 
uh, coconut trees over here. Which someone plucked all the coconuts from without asking me. Let's take a trip. I don't foresee myself needing too much space here. I'm mostly going for the iron nugs. Yeah, they're really intent on making you not, uh, not, uh, undo things in this game. Is that the bird in the armor? Oh my god. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. It's Ava. Move to my island, please. I want you. Ooh, there, there's dig spots on these islands? Interesting. Oh, there's bamboo too, I just realized. Oh, that's what these dig spots are. It's gonna be bamboo shoots. Cool, I'm fine with that. I don't have those. Oh, there, there are fossils on these. Oh, man. That's red. Whose island is this? This is no one's island. It's a random, uh, randomly generated island. There's a couple rocks here. I'm just gonna go lay of the land before I do anything. Can you visit friends' towns when they're not playing? No, unfortunately. You're kind of stuck. I believe you could eat bamboo shoots. Yeah, you can. I'll take that. Fully formed bamboo. Okay. Time for the meat and potatoes of why we're here. Apparently there's an island pattern that just spawns infinite tarantulas, which is scary as shit. Really? Clay? Whatever. I guess we could use that for something.
Oh, I got 30. Finally. All right. That's good. That means we could finally build the shop, which means I won't be able to sell stuff this late ever again. <laughs> because once the brothers move into the shop, they, like, close it at night. It's kind of frustrating. We already got a head start on some more uh, iron nuggets, which is good, because we need those. Uh, what else can I do here? If I chop, um, if I try chopping bamboo, what happens? What? There is a unique... Yeah, I'll get all the weeds, but apparently bamboo pieces are a unique item? Okay. Sounds great. I got a bunch of iron nuggets and I got um, a new villager. Just need those peaches. And then a cow villager to make some cream. Maybe I can make some punji traps with these. Yeah, get some Lance Threes going on. What's that? Your Navi likes staying at the back of the battlefield? Well, guess what, motherfucker? You better hope it's not electric type. Oh, the snake. Oh, yeah, no, nothing beats the snake folder. That's always a great strategy. Wait, is this another rock that I missed? I think it is. Young spring bamboo? Oh my god, is there actually three different types of bamboo? Just like there's three different types of wood. I'm gonna shit a house if that's the case. Try making a bamboo axe? I- if- no, it wouldn't work. I need the recipe to make anything. If there is an axe that re relies on bamboo, then I could use it, but unless I know the recipe, I can't make it. Are there snakes in this game? Uh, no? I don't think so. Yeah, it's time to shovel that last rock. I am going to make a... Oh. I don't have hardwood. I'll make another flimsy axe just so I, uh... Just so it doesn't break in the middle of it, because I don't know if how good my, uh... tools are right now. I can also buy them from, uh, Wilbur if I need to. But, um... They cost miles, and I don't really want to do that. I need to catch a fish too while I'm here. Oop. Wait a minute, this isn't lining up properly.
Why did I jump forward? Oh, actually, no, that's the right spot. Never mind. Okay, Ava, I need you to move away. Don't make me so I talk to you. Thank you. I didn't get a last piece out of that. Was I not fast enough, really? Actually, there is one more thing I could do here. Uh, I'd have to eat some of these for that to, for this to work. Coconuts over here. Wait. All right, prepare your anus rock. Bam. Fuck. Shot more bamboo. I'm going to do that as soon as I, uh... Finish plucking the weeds and breaking the rocks. Oh, it, it went away. Looks like there's only two types of bamboo. We've cleared this out. Cowrie. Let's catch a fish and get out of here.
Ooh, a football fish. Some countries call it a soccer fish. a squid. I had an inkling I might. Very good pun. War Roaches already got him. Another squid. Do they not actually bloop? Sea butterfly. I need that. Ah, he saw it. The last second. I think I might be time to head back. Doesn't really look like I'm finding anything new here. I would say yes, this is 2,000 miles well spent. Another fucking flatfish. Sick of the dabs. I'm sick of the whatever they're called. Uh, olive flounders. All right, Catfit, thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm probably not going to go too much longer. Uh, they said I said I was off the hook. Yeah, let the dab go. I don't need it. Floop. Alright, the silent has officially been mined of anything useful. Time to get the hell out of here. I mean, you could uh, you could spread the word of your commissions here. I don't think anyone's here aside from me and Satine right now, so... How much do you charge for tools? Oh, right, I'm at full limit. Oh, it's already one. Yeah, I might not be going too much longer tonight. I don't even think I'm going to be doing visits if at this rate. Yep, time to make the store. Hey, it was fun uh, talking to you. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to try to stream more regularly. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do streams all day. Uh, I might get back in the ring fit tomorrow morning, finally. Then I'll do probably daily Animal Crossing. And then after that, I might do Mega Man. Just because it's been a while. And I'm really in the mood to start 11 already. Also, my frames are starting to drop here a little bit. Goodbye, all night selling. 
Pick out the perfect location for our new shop. Once I place this, it becomes a normal town. Or it starts working towards it. Oh, right, I forgot about this. Uh, about my home. Construction you request will be coming along. Yes, I know you're excited. Okay, that's tomorrow. Uh, I forgot to hold a ceremony for my museum. I'm gonna do that right now. Also drop off your one to two fossils with ladders. Yep. <laughs> There's five people here. A few words from Blathers. A residence of no birders and I, once again, am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed indeed enjoyed by the overjoyed by the marvelous establishment we are opening here today. Whew, this could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brill excuse me, brimming with wonder. I say, I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. Guessing Chicken Butt will move in Tuesday. I don't know, I'm still waiting on the person from two days ago to move in. Anything to add? We're amazing. Where do I want the shop? Uh, we should probably keep everything localized here, honestly. I would like to have, like, a town center. Goes into the plaza. Maybe, like, right here? We're too close to the plaza. Okay. A little bit further here. One square up. No. Can I, can I put it here? Alright, so you can't put anything lined up directly with the plaza. But right here should work. I don't mind losing that cherry tree. I could always just plant another one. They say open by tomorrow, but I think they mean they're going to take a day to construct it. Because even though the day starts at 5, it usually doesn't... The construction usually takes a day.
Blathers, while I stare at your ass, you may stare at my fossils. Or my one fossil. Okay. T Rex torso. Wonderful, tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? I'd say that the T-Rex is the 800-pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it likely weighed over... well over nine tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. At up to 42 feet long, with banana-sized teeth, it was one of the largest carnivores to ever to walk the Earth. It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, was, since estimates vary wildly. I am just relieved I will never have to escape one. Who? And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. What's can I donate? I have some other stuff here. Yeah, these two. So if I'm not mistaken, according to the Critterpedia, there are, it's five, and then I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, really? Five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's sixteen times five, so that's eighty fish. And then I think it's the same here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. No, 16. So there's, so there's 85 fish, or 85 insects and 80 uh, fish. And then I don't know how many fossils. this one spend bells to buy items well i could do that easily and earn bells by selling items again very easy catch a stink bug chop down trees catch a carp All right, we got all this stuff to worry about. I might as well put most of this away. Plant some more coconuts and bamboo shoots. Started value lets you manage a storage chest whenever you need one. Yeah, that's true. I don't think there's enough room there for one. I'll say this shovel's lasted a long time. Getting those pretty good tools is probably a smart idea.
something lame. Uh, oh, there goes my fishing rod. Getting close to wrapping up. Yeah, pretty close. I'll probably go and put these in storage and then, uh, see where I stand after that. I don't think I can get any more items today. Selling weeds is kind of point. Wait, actually, is the thing for selling them or keeping them? Or just pulling them? Greedy weeder. Oh, selling them. Okay. So I do have to actually sell them. I made my grass skirt. I'm fine. You're gonna check out No Whacking Stardew Stream? Hey, that's cool. Going from one, one, uh... One land management sim to another. These I'm probably not gonna need for a while. That said, I hold on to the iron nuggets so I can make better uh, tools. These I'll sell off. There, there we go. Glad you got to find the bamboo game. Uh, one Zen game to another. Glad you got to find the bamboo. Thank you. I just need those uh, peaches and I'm all good. number there. A nice solid 4,000. Let's buy that camp stove. Wait, what do I need? I need uh, a new axe. I don't really need the shovel yet. Alright, good fishing rod. Let's go. Good net. There we go. Uh, I already have a good shovel. Do I want a stone axe or a plain axe? I mean, I could just buy another flimsy axe. And oh, I need more materials for this one, though. Whatever, I'll make both. I'm not going to bother with the watering can. It's really not worth getting a higher quality of that. How many more do I have to go for the economy booster here? A thousand. And I have to earn bells by selling items. That'll be really easy. So I got these three. I got the two axes. Let's get the 
camp stove out of the way there. Uh, I have to look up the differences between these two axes, but hopefully it'll last me a while. Everything should be good except the watering can. What else can I order to get some, uh, I guess I'll order the Ola, the Ola tea. Or get the outdoor shorts. thousand bells to get that achievement. Again, don't don't worry about all those bells in there. Someone was just very generous. sell. Back out. What's for sale? Vaulting pole, slingshot, DIY for beginners, flimsy watering can, cedar sapling, regular sapling, red hyacinth, yellow lily, Buy them both. Oh, hey, Selena. It's time to get horizontal. Yes. Uh, you know, I'm gonna buy another shovel because I don't know how much longer my good shovel is gonna last. We'll just keep it in the inventory. Yeah, that works fine. Huh. <sighs> Gonna withdraw. Withdraw some more rainy day money here. Actually pretty much winding down at this point. I don't think there's much else for me to do unless someone lets me visit their island. Ooh, perfect. Easy. Easy. Let me hear how good your animalese is. Give it a spiffing attempt. <laughs> Cultivate those miles and that mass. Grow fruit trees. Valid. <laughs> I guess at this point it's just down to farming materials and getting nook miles. There's not really a whole lot else I could do right now. Place any more flat? Ah, uh, probably not.
if you don't water them, nothing happens. I think they just, uh, they don't cross-pollinate. There's actually, like, a lot of, uh, stuff regarding pollinating, uh, flowers in this game. it up unless I just want to pull more weeds, which I should probably do. Get this town weed-free. No joints allowed. Cute animals have their weed. They could do way better than this stuff. <clears throat> well, I was like, I'm just gonna do dailies and then visit other people's towns. Meanwhile, now it's two hours later, and I'm just getting around to the running out of stuff to do. That being said, I do want to finish up a little earlier today, just so I have time, because I'm going to try to stream a lot tomorrow, during the day. I'm probably going to do this again, uh, when the day resets, and then I'm going to, uh, probably do Mega Man 11 after that. Oh yeah, so, um, since you're the one who was happy about my AI, my, uh, AI streams, or, actually I found it just pronounced I, I didn't, I thought it was pronounced AI, um, I didn't realize there was a whole YouTube channel, like that was kind of like a prequel R R N R excuse me uh, A R G to this. So I watched through all of that, and it was very interesting because of how many like hints they dropped during it that foreshadowed to stuff that happens in uh, I. I think it's interesting, and I would love to see Spike Chunsoft actually like, go back and do more uh, Iris videos. hard work. Yeah, I can't stop.
Okay, all nice and clear up here. If we have any of that Mary Juana. Kids better not be smoking weed up here. I don't even think there's any weeds growing up here. There weren't any. wanted. Did you miss anything? Uh, no, not really. Um, I did gush about, uh, Somnium Files a bit. I thought, I thought you were still here. Uh, I was talking about how I found out about the Lemniscate, uh, YouTube channel. And I was just like, oh, there was videos here from before the game came out. And it was like a cool, like, ARG thing. Um, can't really link right now, if, actually, no, I probably can. It's just, if you look up Lemniscate on YouTube, the channel comes up. These are all videos, most of them are videos that came out before the game came out, and it's really interesting because there's a lot of, like, ARG kind of, um, hints to the main game in it. Which would have been cool if I had seen those before I had played it, but it is interesting to watch them in retrospect, knowing everything that happens in the game. gonna wind down now. Alright, it was nice seeing you. After I finish plucking these weeds, I'm gonna stop playing, because I've gone over two hours now.
All right, almost all clear. One more section to go. I think I've gotten everything on this island. Those weeds have been e, e weedicated. present. Pixel shades? Oh, that looks douchey as hell and I love it. go 405 weeds not bad now I need 2000 Catch a stink bug, chop down trees, plant a fruit tree, catch a carp. In terms of what I'm going to get done today, I've pretty much hit the limit. You can hang the shades on a wall too, really? Okay. Let's do that. No. On the wall. Okay, just makes the little display thing for them. Cool. I think uh, I think I've hit the wall here. I'm gonna probably wind it down now. This was a fun stream. Got a lot done. I didn't visit any islands, but damn, did I accomplish a lot more than I thought I would. I suppose that'll be it for now. I'll probably stream dailies tomorrow as well. Uh, probably earlier though, and then maybe I'll stream something else for a change too. Who's to say? Anyway, thank you for coming, everyone. It was a great night. Uh, hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.